I got a really good compliment from one of you guys, one of the uh, viewer this week, uh, watching your stuff. They said that, uh, you know, thanks for being real. And uh, that was, I don't know if they realized that, but that was one of the best <laughs> compliments you could pass along. So I thought about that, being, why do I like that so much? Being, you know, being real as a compliment. What does be, being real mean? So I want to talk about that a little bit and get into some things that are a little more current, right? When you're when you're real, the way I take that is you are you're connecting with the person because you're being honest, open. You're not having some kind of uh, you know facade, and and that was one thing that I learned very well how to do this you know this year with uh, the pandemic um, coming out of it. I've discovered the importance of that of just you know connecting with people and how it's more important that than, than what you're what you're presenting, what you're trying to say, then, you know, what's more important is just saying and connecting and people will relate to that. That's that connection, right? That doesn't mean that what you're going to say is always pretty and comforting and polished. It, it's, uh, that's not what connects with people. What connects with people is they understand that you have the same issues that they have connecting, right? And when you look at things on, on the mainstream media, that's why people don't feel so connected to it because it's polished. It's trying to say a certain thing a certain way it's you know politically correct and things like that and that's why i think there's a lot of the pushback on, on a lot of political correctness is because it just it doesn't feel as real right so when we're talking about connection think about a long-term relationship you may have had right if you're married then you know that with your spouse if you're in a good relationship you are real with them you they know how you feel they know you know the good and the bad and the ugly right you've been naked in front of them not only obviously body but but spirit as well right the most connected relationship is one where you're transparent with that person and they see every little part of you now the downside of that is people see stuff that you might not want them to see right they see uh, like i said the good the bad and the ugly now the drawback to that is you're going to see some unpleasant things about some people but the upshot is that you feel a connection Likewise, when you want to, you know, when you're you're communicating with someone, someone to an audience, if you want to feel that connection, that connection comes when you're real with that person. Now, the drawback is, again, you're going to hear things that you don't like. So that's the trade-off. There's that trade-off there. The more you want to feel connected, the more you're going to have to accept that there's going to be stuff that you don't like hearing. It's going to make you uncomfortable. And that's the problem with things that are always polished and politically correct. Uh, yeah, they sound pleasant, but you don't really connect with them because you know there's something there. So, you know, when you when you try to push and polish things and make them all politically correct, is it better? It's a trade-off because, yeah, you're saying the right appropriate things and you're not offending anyone, but then you're not really connecting with them. So, you know, it's just a, it's a matter of, uh, of trade-off. What, what do you want to do? Do you want to connect, right? Or do you want to not be offended? The more connection you get, the more connection you're after, you're going to run the risk of seeing things and feeling things that aren't very pleasant. And that's fine. I'm not, no judgment either way, right? Um, but you got to realize that, you know, there's no right answer. There's only trade-offs. So just a thought I had for now. If you want to really connect with people, um, first of all, again, thank you very much for the compliment. Um, and that's just my message here is if you want to connect with people, um, there's not much that comes close to that. It's an amazing feeling when you're in a relationship and you actually connect with someone. But the trade-off is you're going to see, feel, hear things that you don't always like and make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, But we can't grow unless we're pushing a little bit out of our comfort zone a little bit at a time. Right? Have a great day.